Watch what's approaching, the supreme moment. Reality striking, closer than it seems, don't it? Go ahead, it's for the taking if you want it. If not, the dream dies and you'll be forever haunted. Then confront it. What's good? So on the last video, I did mention to you guys that I had a bunch of tickets that I will be using up to summon. And a lot of these are the Halloween night pickup uh, type tickets that you can get from completing the uh, daily events. You can do it up to three times per day and there's two events related to that. So I just want to go ahead. I actually have been reserving this for a video and decided to just bulk record it or bulk summon all at once. So again, this is based on the rewards you can get per day. You can do it up to three times on the Halloween event. And I'm not exactly sure how long this is going on for, but, um, and also Global is a little bit different, I assume, because it just got released. But, you know, you can essentially build up your deck a little bit based on completing some of this, uh, some of these missions. And it's, you know, free tickets are always a good thing. You know what I mean? So even if you get dupes, uh, you're pretty much getting souls that you pretty much need in order to, you know, further enhance their levels in terms of like uh, limit breaking and whatnot. Uh, this one is the battle card summon from the Halloween ticket. So again, I do have a fair share about this and looks like for this one It is going to be at least a guaranteed five star uh, At least one of those five star uh, type battle cards So it looks like it's going to be two and as you can see you've got blue red and yellow as the color differences uh, Blue is like your typical end type, you know non rare type uh, ones And then you have your yellows which are pretty much like I guess SR equivalents in Dokkan battle and then your reds are obviously the five star uh, rating type deal so the best ones you can get and a lot of times there are not a lot of times but i've seen it happen to where you do have fake outs in the summon animations and you know you can actually be surprised uh with the um you know what's what comes about it so uh this one is going to be the soul pickup and like stuff like that so you can get the character souls as well as like the special souls and the special souls are very very important in this game because you do need them in order to raise their uh, levels, you know, further on once you get them to the uh, six star rating and, and, and whatnot. So this is actually very helpful because uh, souls are a little bit hard to come by depending on what it is uh, for what unit. But yeah, this is definitely helpful because it gives you the, you know, uh, all star edition like units with the soul levels like the Halloween uh, special editions and also the uh, general souls that you would need for uh, the rest of the uh, other units so it, it does it's, it's actually helped me a lot in tor in terms of acquiring the uh, the special souls so you know the other point I want to make is when it comes to what characters uh, to start using personally as a fan of King of Fighters uh, I'm a little bit of a knucklehead right I have certain characters that I love that I've always loved, you know, from the entire series. So, like, for the, be the best example I can give you, like, I am personally a big fan of the Ikari team, which is pretty much uh, both variations of uh, Leona and also the Orochi Leona, also Ralph and Clark. You know, they're funny as hell and they're amazing, uh, amazing uh, characters. You know, Galactic Phantom is one of my favorite, you know, uh, special attacks in, in the series. You know, and I'll, I'll you know, Haider, Haider, how do you pronounce his name? Haiderun is how it's pronounced in uh, Japanese, but, you know, there's a bunch of characters. Like, Kyo is obviously a classic. I've always been uh, a fan of Kyo versus Iori. Iori straight, but I personally like Kyo a lot. And, you know, we can, the list goes on. I mean, it's, there's so many characters. And I love the fact that they have it by each year. You know what I mean? Like, so, because, like, you, some of you guys probably understand this, but, depending on the year you have this very close attachment to so back to the original point i was trying to make really yes there are different types like attributes and you've got your uh, attack oriented versus your balance and defense oriented type units but ultimately for me i just chose who i liked you know and uh, especially with the uh, you get the five star like ticket selection where it you can pick one five-star unit, I think, when you start the game or something like that. So, you know, really just go with what you want. I mean, the very first card should be the most uh, memorable, personable type character in the series. Now, if you're not a fan necessarily, then yeah, of course, you know, you want to look up which units are better than others. But, you know, from a starting point perspective, like, I think it's just, 
you know, just go with which fair, which character is your favorite and just, you know, go from there. That's all I can tell you. I mean, honestly, I think it's a lot more worthwhile to go about it that way anyway. Um, it gives you a lot more of a uh, nostalgia feel to it. Um, so yeah, we're going through all these tickets. You might have saw a lot of the item boxes toward the, toward the top. What those are are essentially uh, just like uh, core items that you need in order to unlock the potential levels, uh, basically. And I'm actually keeping those in reserve because uh, whenever a need for certain core items come up, I'll just go in and, and select it because you can actually choose which ones you want out of those. I think a couple of those were also uh, type souls, you know, based on the type of souls you need, you can select one out of the group, you know, so um, I'm actually keeping those in reserve and uh, yeah, this is a pretty good one right here, the five star uh, battle card for Iori. So a lot of these cards, right, um, you know, there's different types of cards as well, like you have your set, op set option and whatever, so, you know, depending on what it is, like you can assign it to unlock the ultimate attack or you can set it to improve your overall uh, stats as an equipment so you can see you know you have like different types of um, uh, cards that are listed um, it's fortunately it's listed in English even in the JP version so it's a little bit easier to uh, comprehend but this game there is a lot of stuff going on in this game so um, definitely a lot to do even on a daily basis I do highly advise you to do the Halloween events that are currently running because it is a, a limited time along with getting you know tickets for this uh, they do also give out the um, uh, like friend point type deal where you can build up the uh, friend level for each of your units and that'll help you actually because uh, you do get perks out of unlocking it like defensive boost and attack boost and crit level boost you know percentage based boost you will get some sort of well, if it was I think crits were percentage and attack and defense stuff like that were uh, just flat number related so um, yeah, it's, it's definitely worthwhile to do. I think the one in JP that's also currently going on is the um, boosted rates for gold on expert and also the, I think it was core items on expert. So you do have to unlock all the way to the expert difficulty, but uh, if you do have it unlocked, it's, it's worthwhile to do it. You get to do it three times per day for those, and I make sure to do it uh, all three times every every day because it's the cores and uh, you know EXP items are uh, very important, as well as the gold items. You, know, you you really need to start accumulating all three of those areas, and then you know you also do need like the uh, items needed for like evolution and stuff like that as well. So you know it's 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 a lot of stuff, um, and you know starting out like I'm relatively still new to this game. I've been playing for a little bit, but you know definitely not a veteran by any means. So. You know, still learning a lot of the ropes, and um, yeah, so there there was a fake out at the very end. I kind of like accidentally skipped the animation because I was expecting um, everything just to be like you know, um, you know, uh, ultra rare or super rare, I guess the right term. And then you have your five star, which is ultra rare. Uh, you know, I I only played JP, so I don't know what the English terminology is. So whatever I say, it's based on my translations of you know understanding what it is and. The other thing, yeah, that reminds me, um, I will be providing translations whenever uh, news drops on this game. I think along with Dokkan Battle, I'll probably start covering the uh, the news for this as well. Uh, so this is the uh, five-star battle, five-star guaranteed battle card uh, ticket summon. So as you can see, the red text shows up. Uh, that pretty much means you're getting a five-star and, and of course the red flames equates to that as well. You do get fake outs and all sorts of stuff. So it gets kind of interesting a little bit. And uh, yeah, Takuma is definitely one of my, uh, one of the characters I used to run back in the day. Uh, Takuma, Ryo, and uh, Yuri, you know, those guys, and, and also Robert, or Dobato, I guess, is a uh, phonetics in Japanese, but yeah, a lot of good memories with this King of Fighters series. I'm telling you, like, I, I, this is one of those games I played a lot, like a lot, lot, you know what I mean? Like, I used to play with friends, like, hours and hours at a time, every day for a while. And uh, yeah, uh, Leono is definitely one of my favorite characters and I used to be able to run them V slash C slash combos, like you name it, you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, the fighting game itself is a lot of fun. So yeah, it's, it's uh, <laughs> definitely enjoyable. I do like the gaming mechanics they have in this game. I think it works out very well because yeah, I wouldn't call myself lazy, but general grinding, like I want to set it on auto mode, but at the same time, because I do set it on 
auto mode, I get to enjoy the visuals this, this game provides. And visually, this game is very, very impressive. It looks really crisp and, and um, very good. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy how good this game looks. So, yeah, a lot of good things about this. And I'm glad Global got it out. Uh, because I think that'll raise the popularity levels a little bit too. Um, I was a little bit worried. I was playing this, you know, on my own personal time and debating whether to uh, do a video on it or not eventually. But um, the fact that Global got released, I think uh, it does raise like a little bit more buzz. So I think it all worked out pretty well. And uh, hopefully I'll uh, continue to do that. Yeah, Kim is another one I used to run, run, yeah, run a muck on, you know, on teams and. Uh, Again, a lot of good memories. I think the nostalgia is is the biggest thing out of this uh, this game. A lot of a lot of good memories go behind King of Fighters, and if you share some of the similar experiences that I do, I think you're gonna enjoy this a lot. Uh, the gameplay so far has been absolutely amazing. Uh, the overall mechanics and, and training and and uh, limit break and all that stuff works out pretty well too. So. Again, I wanted to do a summon video just to show you guys, you know, how this works out in this game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for another video. All right, I'll catch you guys later.